Hi, friend. Toast Terry here. Who's talking with famous people? I want to talk a little bit about understanding um, how people think differently and why some why some versions of different thoughts are different because they're misguided or wrong in some capacity and other times it's just a clash of opinions so let me read this one sky blue the u.s got rid of all the secular governments in the middle east because the u.s could not buy them off of against russia they also wanted to establish domestic equity in their respective countries and that's anathema to certain banking interests in the west it is hard to control countries that produce their own independent wealth and their own independent people. Instead of control, you have to deal with them as equals or sovereigns that have to engage in genuine multilateral in interaction with them. You mean bilateral? Um, okay, so... First of all, the U.S. has not gotten rid of all the secular governments in the Middle East. We Bashar, Bashar al-Assad is still in power in Syria, and we had nothing to do with his troubles in Syria, frankly. Not directly, anyway. If you guys start claiming indirect links, then we can link anything to anything, and it's ridiculous. So, there's no point in doing that. Second thing you say here, or it's actually not the... Yeah, okay, well... You also attribute this meaning here like you're like well why did the u.s get rid of the secular governments because the u.s could not buy them off against russia i don't know why george w bush went to war with iraq i don't suspect it was any reason nearly as plausible seeming as anybody could come up with it was more like he wanted to he just felt like it was it fucked up? Yeah, I opposed it from the very beginning. I opposed the Patriot Act from the very beginning. I opposed everything that says it was that from the very beginning. I still do. Now, this next sentence is really interesting. They wanted to establish domestic equity in their respective countries, and that's anathema to certain banking interests in the West. What do you mean by that? They wanted to establish domestic equity. Do you mean they wanted to force everybody to be the same? They wanted to take all the money from the rich people and redistribute it? Do you mean... What what manner of violence are you advocating is good here? Because it's definitely some manner of violence, right? It's not naturally occurring equity. If it were naturally occurring equity... Oh, you're talking about financial equity. They, do, they did. Look at, like, Kuwait and Saudi Arabia. And... Uh, to a lesser extent, well, United Arab Emirates and uh, maybe Qatar. Um, and the ones that have oil are rich countries. They've retained almost all of the wealth themselves. We did not steal it from them, even though we could have. So, what are you talking about? anathema to certain banking interests in the West. What is it about successful corporations and banks and stuff that make people blind to the fact that the reason, the only reason we have prosperity and liberty and freedom and a good life in general in the United States or in the West in general is because we have people who are vigorously creating new wealth all the time now it's a, something of a question mark as to to whom exactly one attributes the wealth creation of a bank it's a weird a weird instance of you're talking about bank but it's absolutely not the case that banks are bad or banking interests are bad or profiting is bad. It's absolutely not the case. The, the lies you've heard about the West being wholly exploitative of other places in the world because we advanced sooner, those are lies because... Look, there's no doubting that the imperialist time period 
and the colonizing of, of places and enslaving of natives and stuff was all awful. But, I mean, the thing is, we want to focus on it being a Western, not West thing. It's it's a might-make-right thing. It's the same thing that's wrong with um, any, any entity that is going to be <coughs> willing to plunder. Plunder is bad. Plunder is ill-attained wealth. Wealth attained by stealing or violence or whatever. If you've got plunderers, then the problem is they're plunderers. And those individual plunderers are the problem. Stop taking ownership for shit you didn't do. So, uh, the other thing to note is, after World War II, when we did mess around in the Middle East unnecessarily, it was because of the time period, mostly. It's like, World War II had just finished being so decisive and reordered the world in certain clear lines of free world, communist world. Um, and statesmen understood their role differently than they do now. Do I think they made all the right decisions? No. But, um, you know, somebody's going to be, somebody's going to have more. Somebody's going to be more powerful. How that entity uses that advantage is, ranges from North Korea, Kim Jong-un, to Norway, you know, very benevolent. So, and granted, Norway has got some socialist stuff going on, but they've got an oil reserve of their own that's paying into um, the equity of the country, like they are saying there, and, and they're utilizing it effectively. So are those Arab countries. The United States didn't prevent that. The, the Arabs had no means of even, we, there, nothing could have stopped us. We could have walked right in there said, this is now the 51st state. It's called oil California, And it's all ours. And fuck you. Easily could have done that. It wouldn't have been right. Then, then you'd have cause. The corporations and banks and stuff that you seem to dislike are the reason that we're both prosperous. As is all the, the work that people do. So... I mean, comparatively prosperous, right? More so than Sub-Saharan Africans. We should appreciate the advantages our forefathers gave us. Um, some of them were ill-gotten, but most of them that we enjoy today we're enshrined in our constitution and this sort of like look I, I fucking hate recent US foreign policy like since George W. Bush on it's just been fucking awful and I'm not going to behave like that as president that's for sure but it is absolutely wrong to condemn the West when it's everything but the West that's always worse. Condemn condemn individuals, if you want. Condemn condemn the nature of reality. I don't know. Um, or embrace embrace the importance of individual rights is a good way to do something positive, you know? Embrace the importance of individualism in general and oppose communitarianism in all its forms. That's a good thing to do. But hating the West or being mad at the West for being the West is, if you're in the West, is silly. Well, that's like my comments sit here. No, it's easy to deal with countries in which individuals create their wealth through honest labor and free markets. It's hard to deal with countries where individuals never developed what de Tocqueville calls the habits of democracy. Any time communitarians take the reins, they lower quality of life for the masses of individuals, as per China, DPRK, Cuba, the Middle East, etc. 
Lose the first world's guilt. It's both unseemly and wrong. Profiting is good. This thing is the thing that's, that annoys me the most about this. This motivation thing. Well, it's because the U.S. wanted this. The U.S. doesn't want anything. It's not... The U.S. is comprised of many, many different force factors. Some of them banking interests. Um, the U.S. does not control other countries. It doesn't want to control other countries because that's too much of a burden. We, we might want to move them in this direction or that. I mean, a certain administration is going to differ with another administration. Like, Trump thinks a trade war is a good idea. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go for a trade war. So what's actually in our interest, you know? Well, that's the thing. You can see different presidents doing different stuff. So it's clearly not being controlled by banking interests. Something Sometimes the banks don't like what the administration does, and sometimes they do. They have more of a voice than the average person, probably, and some presidents are more susceptible to being talked into things than others, probably. But, um... It doesn't work like that. It's like... It's individuals who do that shit. If there are individuals who are doing that kind of shit, then it's individuals. And blame those individuals. Alright, good night. I gotta go to bed. I didn't sleep at all last night.